angles. Separation not just in the route, but after the catch, too. Now Jones on first and ten. That is caught by Lamb. Seconds of the first half, and the 49ers have now taken the lead. Boswell good with the extra point, and the lead is now 10 to 7. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. Jackson now to return. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis, operating Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. It's the 49ers out in front, and they will get the football first as well as we are back and started in the second half from the six. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Hey, Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half, they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities. And I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. From the 30 on second down, Jones into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off here, the 32, and they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They run the counter, Jackson, and they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. 53 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. That time a little misdirection really seemed to fool the defense. And think of it this way. From the time you're in high school, you're taught to watch film and pick up tendencies. Sometimes they can use those against you, though, when they break their own tendencies and hit you back the opposite direction, huh? They'll run with a big man, Bo Jackson. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Jesse Bates made the tackle from his safety spot. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Now a play fake, and it's Newton. They'll roll him out right. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by LeJarius Sneed. And the 49ers are going to have it here at their own nine-yard line. I know it appeared he was saying, hey, give me the football, I'm open, but I don't know if that's a pass that he should have thrown there. Well, I don't think we've ever met a wide receiver that doesn't think he is open or is about to be open. True. So when you throw your hand up in the air and tell your quarterback, hey, I'm available, he's trusting that you are. In this case, he was not, and it turned into disaster for them. A little bit of daylight on that first down run sets him up nicely. Eight yards on the carry. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from the lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Now a good job shifting right, finding his target. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. And that's a nice throw right there. And I'll tell you what I've seen in recent times and actually watched a presentation in the offseason from a college offensive coordinator that showed about 10 different drills that he runs with his quarterbacks to show them how to get out of the pocket how to get comfortable when they're doing so and to make plays under that type of duress. That's an example of what we're seeing the colleges deliver to the NFL. And six at the 43-yard line. Again, it's Harris on second down. And three yards there takes him to the 45. Isaiah Simmons. It's a 
One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Well, they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there, gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, you guys start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you, at what point do you think now's the go time? I think now's the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four and really put you in a stressful spot. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Rolling to his right, and he just throws this one away. Smart decision here, this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Jones slow, complete here to Waller. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. The Niners on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This is third and four. Flushed out right. Touchdown, 49ers! C.D. Lamb, his second touchdown of the night. And the Niners go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. And he's going to be hit and taken down in the backfield. Just nowhere to run that time. And the try for two is snuffed out. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Jackson now to return. And he returns this to the 22. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. A throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half, incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target in the second half. Yeah, should not stop them at all from going back to him, though. Find him. Find him. Now a deep ball going to be caught here near midfield. And all the way inside the 35 before he goes out of bounds. A big play that time for Tampa Bay. Now it's Newton here off the bootleg. Sliding out of the pocket. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Here's Newton. Going deep for Hopkins. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Legereus Sneed. And the Niners are going to get the football here at their own. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They have to like the position that they are in. Fourth quarter, two-score lead, and now the ball back after the INT. And now the drive starts with a completion out to the right. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. Meanwhile, Jones throw pulled in by Lamb. 
And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two at the 49-yard line. Now it looks like he'll throw here. And he'll go right back to Lamb. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. And that last reception puts him over 150 yards now on the game, Charles. And now it's not just execution. It's not just performance. It's a mental aspect that's going on. Because right now, he has got the defense so much on their heels. Got them looking at each other. Who's going to cover this guy? And what type of coverage can we put out there to try and slow him down? I remember a coach telling me a long time ago the difference between playing corner and safety in the NFL. Corner is like the Autobahn. Everybody just flying by, and these corners have been really busy in this game, although they got it done on the last play. On the last play, yes, but there have been some good numbers put up against them offensively. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. On third down, here's Harris. And he's going to be brought down short of the first at about the 31-yard line. A good pick up there, seven yards, but it brings up fourth down. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? Jones now throwing on fourth down. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. The Niners go for it, but it doesn't work out. And the Buccaneers' defense holds, and they get the football back. The Bucs' offense set to begin their next possession. Cam to throw. Being chased out left. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Late in the game, defense trying to avoid a big play. He's able to work out of the passing game, turn it into a run, pick up the first, and stop the clock as well. And you know in this situation, everything is sped up. The intensity, the thinking, everyone's movements. But for a quarterback, he has to continue to be what we call a flatliner. Level in everything he does and read the clock, feel it in the pocket, and go at the appropriate time. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. And they take a knee. So the victory here for San Francisco. And you know, it wasn't a shutout. They did give up the points.